Tonight on Food Network, Bobby Flay, Dessert Heat. Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and today we're going to take a look inside Desert Heat, the uh, part of the second edition of the Nations at War series, World War II. Uh, this is North Africa combat um, between, I think, the, uh, the Italians, the, the busy French, the uh, Americans, and Germans, probably. I don't know. Is everybody's in here? Yeah, the Italian German armies fought the British and the Commonwealth Allies back and forth across the scorching sands of Libya and Egypt. All right, set in night from 41 to 43. All right, so let's crack this syrink and see what you're going to get inside. Now, like the other two games in the Nations at War uh, reworked series, this is going to have, uh, they revised it so it has a core rule book, 2.0 rule book for the overall Nations at War series, similar to the Lock and Load tactical rule book. And then there'll be a scenario book that shows you how to set up the order of battle and the, uh, the scenarios. So, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. So, there we go. All right, first thing you see is you get two dice. Prepare to add your own because you will need them unless you're just going to re all of those over and over and over and over again. All right, so as I mentioned, here's the 2.0 core manual. It's pretty, uh, pretty large print, pretty short. It's only about 35 pages total, including credits. Uh, if you owned Desert Heat before, um, in the first edition, uh, you, there were expansions, things like that. Uh, all of it's been combined into this one package. And there are also some name changes. Um, that are that are revealed. White Star Rising has a lot of them, and Desert Heat has a few that change names. Um, previously, like Al Hawari is now Blida, Al Adam is Tabessa. So uh, that's so cool. And also, uh, uh, looks like you had some maps actually changed. They were A, B, C, D. Now they're 11, 12, 13, and 14. So just a little little guide there. So. Rule book, like I said, large print, well laid out. Um, summary of what the different uh, stats are on the counters for you. Full color. Very easy to read. Then you get the modules and scenarios book, and this will actually take you through the meat of the desert heat uh, scenarios. Uh, and that also full color, again, large print. Now this comes in a lot larger at uh, 51 pages and on the back cover. And just for example, like here's Rommel at the Casserine Pass. It's going to be the Axis and Americans. Uh, it gives you the order of battle, the, uh, the uh, formations that you're going to use, uh, how to set up the map, how to, what areas are playable. Sometimes you use a subsection of the map. Um, and so it guides you through that as long as any special scenario rules, victory conditions, things like that. So this one comes with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 scenarios. And it's like the others, there should be an option to design your own. So there's rules for that. Okay. This uses a chip pull system, so it's very easy to solo too. Just draw a chip and then you have to act, just act with that formation. So. All right, so there's one map here. I'm going to set this aside, and I'm sure there's other maps below, so we're going to tackle them all together here. All right, now this says you get five counter sheets. The box said you get four, so let's see which one's right here. We're going to sort through this stuff. Maps. And counters, it looks like the box was incorrect. So you get five counter sheets. And these are all very nice three quarter inch counters. The new excellent lock and load printing style where they just punch right out. Okay, pre-rounded. One thing that's nice about this game is they're all three quarter inch. So they're a lot easier to store. Uh, you can fit them, you know, one to each side in a GMT tray. Make your own GMT trays with my patterns. If, you, if you're interested in that, you can look them up on Board Game Geek. Um, uh, again, they punch very easily. They're pre-grouped by formation, so you can kind of punch them out as you need them. Uh, these counters you see here are the uh, formation 
chits that will go into the cup and you draw them and activate that formation. You'll also have um, you know, a bunch of standard, you know, standard counters, things like that. But then you also have, get to them here, you have, uh, let me find them here. Okay, so you have fate markers which allow each side to expend fate points in this scenario. They'll be given a set number of fate points and they can expend those in this scenario to, uh, to re-roll or to force an opponent to re-roll. You also have chaos markers that can go in the jet and you draw those and you get a random event. Now here they are, the intern counters. Those will go in the cup and as you, when you get two of those drawn, that turns over. So it's a lot of, a lot of uh, you never know, uh, randomization that's going to happen each turn. So you know to make the most of your opportunities. So it's very easy to solo because uh, when a unit's activated, doesn't matter which side they're on, you're just gonna you're gonna do the best you can. Or I say formation, you're gonna do your best you can for that side. So five counter sheets. All right, let's take a look at the maps, of which there are apparently four here. It actually, it looks like there may be another one on the bottom. Nope, I was incorrect. Format. Map 14, as you expect, lots of desert. Got some dunes here, an oasis, little town of Tabessa. Okay. Map 11. Right. Roads, village, not much else. Map 13 gives us a little more topography. Got some hills, mountains, crossroads. These are all single-sided, by the way. I'm not chipping yet, not showing you the other side. Find map 12. Got a nice mountain range, roads, little town. La Signa. It's because I have Signa all the way across the map. All right, so there's that. Let's go to one here. We have a player aid, which includes turn track. These are all the maps too. Are all coded cardstock. Very nice. All right. It's going to give you a description of the counters. Again, there's turn track, NATO symbols, which help you remember for the design your own scenario section if you choose to do that down here. for design your own scenario you have a uh, point sheet for Italian forces you have a point sheet for German forces you have a and these are all double-sided have more information about the Germans point sheet for the Americans a point sheet for the British okay so that's for building your scenario and uh, expending points to, to build up your army. Uh, then you get a rule summary sheet, which is a quick guideline for you to follow when you're actually playing out the game, so you don't have to look up the rules all the time. One of those. And you get a terrain effects chart, which is going to be helpful for uh, figuring out what's desert and what's desert. Now, there's obviously different different factors in here, but uh, so you'll refer to this a lot. And on the back is the chaos table. When those chaos chits are drawn, you'll roll for a random event. Certain scenarios have them, certain scenarios do not. So again, this is Desert Heat, part of the Nations at War series, second edition, um, from Lock and Load Publishing. Everything you get in the box here. Turn effects chart, rule summary sheet for faction-based unit point cost sheets. A player aid, turn tracker, four maps, uh, eight, uh, excuse me, 11 by 17 maps, geomorphic maps, five counter sheets of all three quarter inch counters, uh, pre rounded, easy to punch, easy to sort, the module rules and scenarios full color booklet, and the Nations at War second edition core manual. This you'll get in all, this will be the same in all the versions of uh, all the editions for. Uh, uh, Nations of War 2nd Edition, which includes Desert Heat, uh, uh, Sans Triumph, and White Star Rising. So, that, uh, and two dice. Don't
don't forget those dice. All right, so that is what you're going to get inside of Desert Heat from Lock and Load Publishing, part of the Nations at War 2nd Edition. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!